Hello YouTube, we're doing another tutorial video on Xbox 360 Slim, no power to the front buttons. Uh, this is a video on things that could happen when you take your Xbox apart to cause no power to the front buttons on your Xbox 360 Slim. So let's check it out. Alright everyone, I'm uh, going to be showing you how to take apart an Xbox 360 Slim and also things you have to watch out for in the process of taking it apart um, things you have to be careful of because there's a ribbon cable that you can um, mess up if you aren't careful on where you stick your screwdriver or knife you know so this is a video on how to take the xbox 260 slim apart and to diagnose these top rails on the top and the bottom pretty straightforward um, all you want to do first of all is you want to remove the hard drive side so if you don't have fingernails like me you need a, a knife or a screwdriver or whatnot pop this up like that you will actually just grab the other side and gently pull that side comes off as you can see your hard drive is exposed right here I have a 250 gig uh, original Xbox 360 hard drive in there because you can disassemble your old hard drive and put it in your new slim. Pretty cool, easy. Flip it over, do the same thing, put a knife in here, just gently pry up on this to get it kind of started. Pull back, like that. Okay, so here on the Xbox, after you remove the top pieces, this is actually where you can damage the ribbon cable. Surprisingly enough, yes, this far in the stage, you can damage your ribbon cable, and this is where probably I would assume most people did. When I first took uh, my first Xbox 360 slim apart, I did damage a ribbon cable doing this, and it took me a while to figure out that power problem also. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what you have to do. Okay, we're going to start by removing this top piece right here, and I'm going to show you where you stick the screwdriver um, in there to remove this top panel right here. Um, the hole that you stick it in to ruin the cable is this one right here, and this is the front of the Xbox, as you can see right here. This is the front of the Xbox, and this front hole by the front panel is where you can damage it. So where you, the prongs are to remove this piece is these side ones right here skip one these two side ones skip a hole these two side ones and then these end ones are all have prongs in there that you have to pull up to release this panel so we're gonna go ahead all you do is you stick the screwdriver in like this catch that little prong and pull it backwards and it lifts up you do that all the way around on in all the holes I told you to it's very easy it doesn't take a lot of force at all and these pop right off so go ahead and just set this piece aside flip the Xbox over and do the same thing on this side okay we got the top uh, panel off now I'm going to show you how we did it so see that there's these tabs right here these are the holes I told you to stick the screwdriver in now all these holes on the top look the same so you have to get a flashlight or something to look down in there to see which prongs you have to remove to uh, remove this panel. Now this is the hole right here that people stick the screwdriver in and that is where the ribbon cable is placed right here and that's where you can damage the Xbox ribbon cable. So how you get these prongs off is you stick the screwdriver in the hole like that, push it out, grab the tab and then pull it in and do that all the way around and pull up on it slowly and it will release all the tabs all the way around and then this will pop off. Alright, moving on to the next part. Flip the Xbox over, do the same thing on this side. You gotta look with a flashlight, but I'll just show you which ones they are. It's this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Not this one, right up here. But there's no ribbon cable on this side, so you really don't have to worry about it. So that's why I said to do the other side first. So we'll start removing these. So just stick it down in there, pull back on the tab, and I'm going to start with this one over here. doesn't matter, it's whatever works for you to get it off. That's all that matters. 
see how I'm slowly hitting the tab and then they're all coming up slowly and then I'll just pop this off after and sometimes you can only release a couple tabs and if you gently pull and it comes off that's you know it's just easier okay so we'll set that aside now what we're gonna do to remove um, the next step is what I do is I remove the Wi-Fi chip and that's right here and what you're gonna need for that is you're gonna need a special uh, T socket um, which you know you can get at Radio Shack or uh, Harbor Harbor store like a Home Depot or anything so I would just recommend buying all of them you if you cover T5 through T40 you should you know have all the ones you need so we'll go ahead and just remove this screw right here on the top just like that Whoops. pull that Wi-Fi wi chip out set your screw up here and that's what makes your Wi-Fi in your slim it's pretty much a USB port kind of a thing um, so we'll go ahead and set that aside now this is the first thing you want to check when you're taking your Xbox apart because as you can see down in there where you just removed your Wi-Fi chip it looks like a USB like I said all of these prongs in here should not be touching each other if any of those are touching each other you'll get the direct short which results in no power to the front buttons so just look in all of those make sure all these little brass pieces right here aren't touching each other or touching the opposing side and as I'm looking at this one this one's fine so now continuing on to disassemble the rest of the Xbox. So you're going to want to start with the back. So what we do is inside of here, there's more of those little prongs right inside of there that we're going to use with the screwdriver to disassemble it. And this is how you split the two halves. So just stick the screwdriver. It's pretty self-explanatory once you get this far. I mean, you've already dealt with the prongs already and you can see them pretty easy. So you do that, flip it over. As you're applying pressure, just put the screwdriver underneath the tab, lift it up. Just, uh, yeah, if I can even do it. go there's that one and then for the last one what I've always done because you can't really get a screwdriver past the second one this is on the hard drive side is I just pull out on these two and I press right down here I'll show you in a minute I'll press on the back of my Xbox right where this bar is there's a bar I think that's where the warranty sticker was and you'll press just press down on there right on the outside so this is like this you'll press right here with the screwdriver and it'll pop off and that releases this tab that pushes this tab in so we'll go ahead and 